new year, a new wave. Greetings, here's alike. I'm 1up2006, aka Dark Spectre, and welcome to the first video of 2016 here on the channel. And we're going to start off with the new wave of Bionicle. Of course, as you can see here, I got two of them because I went to Toys R Us today and got them. But let's look at one of them, which is Akita, Creature of Water. So we have the, the box, as always, like a Bionicle, this time with the Mask of Control instead of the Mask of Creation. 6 to 12. 71302, 120 pieces. And if you look in the background, it's kind of hard to see with the light. There we go. You can faintly see Golly with two shadow traps, and over here, you could see the golden uniter mask of water. Kind of a bit of a throwback to the concept of having characters hidden in the background of the boxes. That's actually pretty cool. In the back, you can see that you can combine this with Golly and get the uniter form. And again, if you look in the background, here, even though it's very small, but you can see Umarak with two shadow traps. So, let's get on with this. Oh, before I start that, you also have two symbols here on the front of the, or on the top of the box. But as you can see, getting the tape off, it kind of damaged some of these, but you can kind of get the idea of what these look like. I'm not sure what they represent at the time being, but that's gonna, we'll probably figure that out later. Oh, this is new. Alright, liking what we see so far. Let's put that to the side for now. Alright, there's their small bag. And there's our big bag. Alright, as usual, let's start with the instruction booklet first before we begin. On the inside, we can see the little comic here. It first shows... What am I trying? Why am I struggling? Umarak with the Mask of Troll and a few shadow traps on the shore of a beach. And then we have, you know, Akita with the shadow traps, Gali coming in. And she, re you know, unites with Akita and then goes off to fight Umarak. Then we got the basic build, uh, stuff we don't really care about, things we really do not, are not our concern, for the most part. And then we have this ad for Umarak, the hunter, which is pretty cool. We then have the list of the uniters, so, unite for battle. We have the galley one, and then we just enlist all the other ones. <clears throat> and then we have another ad for the Toa and with their respective uniters, which I'm actually inter interesting to find that Kopaka and Malum come from the same, you know, set. And then with Lego, this time we actually have it of Tahu, so that's actually pretty cool. But that's not what we're here for. Let's begin with the pieces. And we got quite a lot of them, in terms of recolors and new pieces. And that's a good way to start off the year. As you can probably see, there's no body piece. And the only thing related to that is this part here, which is the basic one. We have, I think, two. Yeah, two of these limbs in the translucent blue. That's really nice to have. Let's see what else we got here. We have a few Technic bits here in the nice blue. This is a color I haven't seen in years, and I'm glad they brought it back. We have two of the Umarak, not Umarak, but Kolta horns in this orange. So it's, that's cool to have. We also have four Exoforce arms in blue, so that's great to have. Um, I think that's... wait. We actually have five of these fin pieces from the Fantoka series. Or was it Mystica? No, it was Mystica. We have this in the ninth, in the Azure. Or I think this is Azure. It's somewhere close to there. And I think that's pretty much it for the recolors. 
Oh, we also get a few lift arms and our Technic bits in translucent blue. That's it for recolors. New pieces, um, actually we've seen these before, we've seen them on a Kimu, the cylinder for the shooter in translucent blue. Now new pieces, we first off have the Shadow Trap halves in gun metal. Now these are actually pretty interesting in the fact that the gimmick is that these are bear traps. I don't know the exact uh, story of these yet, but I'm pretty sure we'll find out later on. So there's that. We also have these shortened little tidbits here in blacks, similar to the legs of Skull Scorpio, which I actually realized that I was mispronouncing that. I thought it was Sc Scopio when it was his Scorpio, so I was kind of staking myself. And here's one of the pieces I was talking about before. This has a longer axle piece, but has a short uh, peg or pin. So that's actually nice. We also have the uniter piece in silver, which that looks very nice, you know. And then we have the headpiece here, which I think they're pretty much all the same with these creatures. This one is blue, translucent blue with melted silver, and that actually looks really nice. I like, I like that. So now that we looked at the pieces, Let's build Akita, a creature of water. So, here it is. Akita, Creature of Water. Pretty good set, I have to say. Kind of reminds me of one of the mocks that was made for a Rahi contest back in the old days. Which was, like, around 2005 or so, if I'm not mistaken. Now, what's interesting about this set is the fact that it actually has a certain feature. Other than this, which we'll get to later. Is the fact that you can move the head down a bit if you wanted to when you're playing with it. Turn the tail up and then these turn up. This is mainly for the United feature which I can't show it off because I don't have any of the Toa yet. And this can actually go with any Toa. It doesn't have to be like oh this one has to go up just with Galley or you know Akira has to go with Tahu. No these ones can go with any one of them including Umarak, which we'll get to once I get Umarak. What's actually nice about the set is it has a little stand that you can actually put this one on because most likely because they knew that this one lacks legs to stand on so for those that just want to show it off it has a little system built stand that you can put it on and you do it that way. Really do like the colors that they use here. Different shades of blue with orange. I think that's actually a really nice color system they got. And as with all the different creatures, we actually have the Shadow Trap. Which, this works similar to a bear trap, basically. And you can put enough pressure on here, it'll make it, you know, collapse onto it. I think the idea is to try and get uh, Akita to be trapped in one of these. Like so, if you wanted. And I'm not sure what the effect is supposed to be on these things. I'm not 
too sure because I don't think any information has been released about these things yet. And the website for it is being currently underway. But that's just what we got for the meantime. There is debate about if these are better than these Skull Spiders that we got last year. Um, I think both of them are equally at least good. I mean, these do their job and the Skull Spiders did their job. So, I think these are actually pretty good. So, what do I think of Akita Creature of Water? This is a set that's actually really good. The building here, which you probably could see, was kind of confusing to me. But other than that, it's actually a really good set. You know, nice colors, and you know, pieces, and recolors, and new parts. Definitely pick it up. It's $9, uh, well, $10 at Toys R Us, so... That's where I recommend to get it, but you can pick it up anywhere else that's available, like Target, and Walmart, and wherever you go to get these things. Alright, so the next one will be of a Kier Creature of Fire. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to check out my main channel, or my gaming channel, Dark Spectre, for more content. And as always, this has been one of 2 aka Dark Spectre. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Ciao!